Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. In this episode, I'm gonna go through how to validate, verify the integrity of a, an injector in a petrol car. Uh, an injector is basically nothing but a solenoid valve. And what is a solenoid valve? It's basically a tube with a lot of windings and when electricity or voltage is induced in this coil, it creates a magnetic field. And this magnetic field is what moves this little needle which is inside that tube, which allows fuel to pass through. It only opens approximately 0.1 millimeter and it operates against the spring. So when voltage is uh, off or yeah, not off, the spring automatically uh, closes the needle again. So it is basically a solenoid valve. What happens when we induce uh, a voltage or current in a coil like this and then we remove it again immediately, it actually creates a spike in voltage. It implodes basically the magnetic field, you could say. And this is what we are able to see using an oscilloscope. So any coil where we do this, you're able to see the same or similar waveform basically. Um, so. And it's quite easy because when you have the injector, what you do is you connect the one wire from your, uh, I'm looking at it now, you're connecting one wire from the oscilloscope to one of the uh, wires on the injector and the other one you connect to the chassis ground. When you have done that, you start up the car. And in this case, I'm using my Autodetex car scope and I have actually already done, done it, but I want to show you what the waveform looks like. It's just when the car is on, it's, you can hear the engine instead of me. I don't really want that. So what you basically see is how the injector voltage waveform looks like. And the funny thing about uh, an injector, it's actually uh, an earth switched circuit you could say because it has a permanent voltage supply on the injector 12 or 14 volts when the car is turned on and then it is connected to ground through the electronic control unit the ecu so what the ecu does is basically pulls that 12 voltage to ground and you immediately have all the current passing through this little coil and then when the ecu disconnects the ground we are able to see the spike which is caused by the magnetic field in this coil imploding. So, and what the waveform then looks like is that here you have the permanently 12 or 14 volt, you can see that. And in this position, the electronic control unit pulls or closes the circuit, pulls it to ground, making it a full circuit. And you can see you have basically zero volts because now the current is flowing in the coil and immediately when the ECU switches off or removes the earth connection, we can see the spike from the magnetic field basically imploding. So, and how can we then verify if the injector is okay by looking at this? Well, you want it to be approximately 60 volt, the spike, and it is that in this case also. You can also be, in a, be able on some injectors to see 35 volts. And that's because there is a diode, diode, I think that's how we, a same diode, I think it is, which basically cuts it off at 35 volts. But in this case, we are reaching uh, 60 volt, and uh, I can actually also see the, how long time the injector is turned on because each square is uh, two milliseconds here. So it's a little more than two milliseconds that we have voltage being induced into the coil. That's basically it. Uh, nothing to it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe and take care. Bye bye.